right. Says, hey, Doc, uh, what's a good thing you can do for vein issues in the body, varicose veins especially? Okay, so a varicose vein, for all intents and purposes, is really an aneurysm. It's a rupture in the tissue. And hemorrhoids fall under there. Aneurysms would fall under there. They tend to be more arterial in nature. Uh, but it's, it's in that plumbing system, right? And the, the walls have gotten a little weak. They've gotten bulged, too much pressure, etc. The key to it is get the pressure out. So there's lots of things you can do. White willow is an excellent, excellent plant that aspirin eventually was made from uh, back in the day. It doesn't have all the side effects that aspirin does. You don't have the, the concentrated product. You get a, a natural blend. So it's a nice thing you can do. But you want to do physical things as well. So whether it's a hemorrhoid, uh, a varicosity, something of that nature, there's a lot of different stuff. So in acupuncture, they'll actually take a needle and they'll poke it a bunch of times and release that pressure off of there. So that's a technique they call it bleeding. There's a technique to do that and it will release that pressure. The vein will shrink back down. Now medically, they'll go in and sometimes they'll just remove the vein. Right? They'll just take them out of there and stuff like that if you have them and they're hurting you. But there's other things you can do. And one of my favorite ones is an old, uh, what would it come out of? Tai Chi, I guess, from a, from a martial arts standpoint. So you, your feet are here. You're like, boom, boom, right? And what you're going to do is you're going to raise up on one foot with all your weight and you're going to drop the heel. Raise up on one foot, drop the heel. Now, you don't put one leg in the air. You keep them kind of down, but all the weight goes on one, you drop. All the weight goes on the other, you drop. And you always drop the heel. Drop the heel. You want to repeat this about 36 times. Okay? So each heel has to hit the ground 36 times. And doing that, it, it sends a little energy, a little shock up through the system. And it's bouncing, creating a pressure. So it's squeezing that, not allowing that blood to pool and sit. Because a lot of times varicosities happen when we cross our legs too much or we're on an airplane for too long. It's just lots of pressure and that fluid builds. So it's a really cool technique. You lift up, drop. Lift up, drop. Lift up, drop. But you've got to drop the heel. So you put all your weight on one side, drop. All your weight on the other side, drop. And then back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's just a nice technique that I found to be very, very beneficial over the years. I'm trying to get my papers all separated here. But it's a, it's a good way to do it. So again, you want to go about 36 times each way. And when you get into like Taoist medicine and the Chinese medicine, they're big on numbers, right? 12s are big ones. So 12, 24, 36. They're really big on that. All right, do it 36 times. But do it every, every single day, right? And if you do this, it will improve the veins in your legs. So it's a really cool thing.